タンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタン Um, it's actually brought to us none other than by the Earth Star. It's our ability to actually manifest from our emotional realm. But to start the day, let's talk about、uh, the elemental realm of the day, the four pillars. So, this is a Yin Earth or Yaya day and、uh, a Yaya day master. And then we have the snake on the branch, the lower branch there. And the snake brings in some Yang elements. We have、uh, Fire, we have more earth, and we also have water or metal, sorry.、Um, and that's unrefined metal, it's yang or minerals that are kind of in the storage of the snake. Anything、um, actually at the base mostly of all the earth elements that's considered storage, and it takes another element to oppose it to birth or access those elements. <clears throat> But、uh, looking for elemental balance today, today brings in the element of that yang wood. So, nature truly is our asset. And again, once again, water. So, this definitely is the summer to bring in water, that opposing force、uh, to summer, which I find kind of actually curious. And I also last night felt like we had rain out in the etheric realm or that dimension. I could smell it and it was fresh in this dimension as well. So, that was actually pretty curious. But along with that,、um, today is actually kind of friendly day. Yin Earth to Yin Earth is actually friends. So we have the Yin Earth on the day master, the day branch. And then we've got more Yin Earth with、um, the ox and also the goat. But they're actually two opposing forces, but it's still friendly. If it's a Yang Earth, it's actually more,、um, those are our enemies, they're not our friends. <laughs> so. Um, definitely a water element day. Innovate and bring in the rain from the heavens.、Uh, maybe you're wondering about your career decisions. So, metal or mineral is actually output for an earth day master. So, when it follows、um, the sequence there. So, metal would be the output, water would be、um, our wealth. So, we need wealth, right? Uh, wood would be our decision maker, getting ideas,、um, and fire is our actions and also our resources. So it's kind of、um, the parent aspect to earth. So、um, water being the wealth or abundance, so it's like putting elemental energy into a water type of career would actually be a great idea for if this was a person and I was reading their chart. But water, again, it's flow, it's reconciliation, it's clarity. The taste is salty. And all of the elements actually bring in each of the other elements plus a sixth or heaven energy element. So fire really has two forces at play.、Um, I can share that chart another day.、Um, but they're like spirits from the heavenly realm. So it's like for today, anyway, I'm, actually, I'm just going to stick with the waters. But. You can have wood of the water, fire of the water, earth of the water, metal of the water, and water of the water. So each brings in a different aspect to actually look at from these realms of spirit and also the physical realm as well, the emotional realm, our thought realm, and all the causal field or the auric fields, and so much more. But once you actually get in the flow, the conditions of the water element to bring it to balance. You know, you have to nurture all of these different aspects. So, in the body, it rules water circulation. So, be sure to drink water today. I always recommend getting half your body weight in ounces per day. Add lemon to your water to bring in the element of wood.、Um, sour is the taste of wood energy, it's great for the liver and the gallbladder to kind of wake it up and add the energy to it. You can also add cinnamon for the fire of the water.、Um, and actually, I would, I would stay away from sugar、um, with all that earth energy. Sugar is a debilitator, really. It's our sweetness of life. If you feel like you need sugar, I would use honey or agave to bring in that energy. 
And that would actually be earth of the water bringing in that sweetness. Add minerals like humic and fulvic acid to bring metal balance to water energy. And you can also add Himalayan salt to water to actually balance the water element. Um, it's actually kind of a lot of info really, but I myself stick mostly with lemons and the minerals in my water, mostly because I know my elemental constitution. And if I was to add salt, I would probably go with black salt as an additive for the black salt is kind of like the salt of the water or water of the water and the energetic aspects. So even different salts carry a different frequency and vibration to the element of water, even though water is a salty in taste. Uh, we have the kidney and bladder energies are kind of weak today. So really kind of pay attention to the fluids that you intake. Uh, the cosmic highway today is one of connecting to our earth star where yesterday was the root center. Today is actually the root, root star. This is a energy center about a foot and a half below our feet, you know, and we have been really going through all of these waves of consciousness connected to our emotional field of awareness. So today we connect uh, or we create the emotional foundation connecting to all of those emotional fields. Um, and there's a variety of emotions within not just the elemental chart, but actually there's so many emotions, right? Uh, so whether it's an awareness of nurturing our inner self, aiming into the emotional goals, focusing on our feelings, creating different skills and different coping mechanisms, you know, ha you know, having a awareness of the emotion and having a conversation with maybe why you're feeling this way. Um, I've been in a state of grief, which is ex totally understandable anytime. I mean, I even did a podcast about it. Um, the loss, this was a loss of um, two super people that were in my, um, my village close to me. So we're actually completing this process today. And you might kind of feel a little bit emotional or vulnerable in your emotional frequency. Um, you might kind of have a feeling as if there's something more to do. I would highly recommend taking a pause and feel into how far you have actually come on your earth journey. And when we commit to a feeling that actually resonates with what we intend to actually manifest, um, the way you can work with the element of water is to direct and even get focus to all of your emotional learning curves and truly decide to commit to an aspect of the feeling that you intend to manifest in the consciousness of your emotional future. So when you connect with that feeling that actually truly resonates with you, it's like, it's really like the Jedi force being your own Yoda in a way. You identify the feeling, you hold it or give it time and space as long as you can and just imagine in your mind's eye or your spiritual crown center just generating and holding the sensation of that emotional thread that uh, stream that river as long as you can so it's truly like a stream of energy from the galactic core giving energetic stimulation or stimulus or soul capital for your future and then we have this sensation in our prime directive to hold our outer love story. And I'm going to start doing the love, the skin you're in, kind of a daily journaling. So be sure to get a journal. I'm going to start that on Thursday. But when we get into this outer love story and really trust the process of what we authentically want to create, feeling vulnerable is just part of that creation because it's something that is kind of yet to come. It's kind of innovating this aspect. And my mom has always told me that I was born way before my time. Because I look into futures, it's really truly a thing to hold space for an optimistic venue and shifting your attitude. So I would really say hold space for your emotional field and just keep all the gnats away, keep them out of your frequency. I literally, um, I flick. I just flick things that really don't belong there out of my field and I do the hand movement to like poof get it out of there but utilizing love as your container and focus on the tonality the tone the sound that you really want 
And just being that this is an Earth star kind of day, we can bring in the aspects from our galactic center outside of us, um, our higher self, that vibration and frequency from the galaxy, and hold space for the oneness field. Like, I am connected. And if you can close your eyes and truly imagine a future that your emotional field wants to be in, whatever that paradise looks like, mine would be... You know, it'd be the realm of the goodness of the beings that most people can't see or the cloud line. And actually, there's so many different options, you know, the realm of the fairies and the animals and there's so much. But really ground your feelings into the Earth Star, you know, the feelings that you want to feel and bring in that emotional security, creating that container, that sacred space and release any old timer past thoughts and feelings, especially if they come bubbling up. And I would actually suggest that you place them in their own cosmic bubble or stream of light and just let them literally go out to God source energy, whatever that looks like for you. You know, you just say goodbye to your past. Just imagine it in your mind's eye, whether it's a lifetime, a timeline, or even yesterday for all that matter. And hold on to that octave of the future that you really want in your reality. And just know inside of you that you are connected. You're holding the keys to the queendom of your own heaven, your own paradise. And really just link your conscious awareness to the spiritual plane. And remind yourself that you truly are a spiritual being having a human experience in this earth journey, in this uh, incarnation. So our sacral center is the channel that is open today. So colors that resonate are orange or any field of orange. It could be yellow oranges, even uh, red oranges. So any aspect of orange, we all kind of frequent a frequency that resonates with us. I also utilize the color orange in my light sessions to actually balance the water energy, water circulation in the body to get it just flowing. You could eat anything in the realm of orange colors, salmon, tangerines, pumpkins, carrots, oranges, etc. Or just wear those colors. Um, same with the stones or crystals. There's, you know, carnelian is a great color for a day, day for a day like today. Even um, actually tiger's eye for the or, or even uh, smoky quartz for uh, the earth star. And just radiate that you truly are a magnet. You're magnetizing like you're attracting like a magnet, your own personal success story. Your auric field is also full of abundance and prosperity and your emotional foundation. You know, it's really creating its own sacred and safe space. It's just like having a conduit for self-nurturing and totally tuning in to that attitude of gratitude for creating your personal emotional comfort like imagine sitting in the comfort of love and joy and peace and that's your own comforter and peace you know which is also the element of water in the dagara we are in a year of peace and recognizing our inner peace our outer peace and our future peace uh, that's kind of what uh, this year symbolizes in that cosmology but protecting our emotional tone today into the future of our earthly realm. Um, the angelic beings for a day like today. Again, we're stu we still have Gabrielle. We're in the season of Cancer. We're at the end degrees. So we're about to jump the pipeline into our love story. Because uh, that's kind of where we're at. So we're, we are truly bringing in the strength of God universe. Or the courage to be vulnerable and nurture the inner child inside of us. Um, that's what kind of our emotional field really kind of is. It's our inner baby that we all have, like what we were like at, as a two-year-old or a three-year-old or even a five-year-old. It doesn't really matter, but our childlike self. And, you know, on a day like today, just let God universe handle all of your troubles today and just go out and enjoy your day. You're just like handing all of it over to the universe and God's going to handle it all for you. Um, another angel of the day is Azrael, <laughs> whom God helps. So this is like a resurrection from our past life story, acknowledging just different paths that we might have been taking on our journey, 
getting a, you know, a different perspective on all of the events that have actually come to us during this incarnation, um, especially with um, all the chaos in the world. Like, like I don't even watch social media. It's, it's kind of horrific. It's not social media and mainstream media is kind of what I'm talking about. Um, and then another angel is at as model, um, as model, I guess is what I would say as model is a supporter. So this angelic being is just reminding us to stay steady in our earth journey and really, truly enjoying every moment with like taking a breath, a deep inhale, bringing us back to our heart center with more of, um, respect and anchoring that holds our feet actually into the ground, into the earth star. And when we do this, this is when we wield the strength that can literally push back against anything that's spinning in the world, any narrative that doesn't resonate with ourself. So this angelic being is here. It has this embodiment to really focus and dedicate to hold us when we make a commitment. So when we have a moment of clarity where we can grasp or get a grasp, you know, get a hold with a closed fist, that's kind of what this supporting energy does. So it's super cool today. Now the card of the day, I'm actually excited about, and you know, you cannot, you can't make this stuff up. I'm not gonna, you know, you just can't. But I chose this card from my um, Angel tarot deck, I often get it confused with my love deck. I don't know why, but I've always, sometimes I call it my love deck. Um, I'm not sure why, but today I, uh, I pulled the Empress. So she's, you know, you can see the angel of abundance, which really is uh, clever for a day like today. She's the partner of the emperor or the father. So, you know, it's kind of having uh, the masculine and the feminine, but... So, you know, we have like the godmother, the godfather, the our fairy godmother, whatever we want to call it, or whatever that looks like. We're all different, which is, you know, appreciative. Gratitude to that, being different. So she's the queen mother. She's dynamic. She's creative. She's like this creative life force. And I don't know if you can see it, but she also is symbolized by being pregnant. So she's actually pregnant um, in the card. And also the number three, three is creativity. So she is both this person or this entity or this being that's happy to both give and also receive. Um, kind of a Venetian kind of feeling in a way, or a Venus kind of energy. So the corn that she's holding actually links her with Demeter. It's a goddess, the grain goddess of abundance. It's Virgo energy. Uh, Demeter is related to Virgo as well. Virgo is like the single mom. It's our mother-daughter relationships. So um, maybe we need to nurture more of the feminine aspects that we all carry. Both men carry this as well. It's just a balancing act um, to bring that into the corridor. And her pink wings actually represent love. We all need some pink, juicy love, right? Just imagine yourself being cradled in those wings, getting some empress kind of nurturing and love-based childlike wonder. And her scepter actually represents the uh, feminine power. So we have the mother, fertility. We have love, beauty, nurturing, generosity, openness. So she truly is the angel of abundance. But she truly and also literally means like love in action, how love is shown to us or even how we show love or carrying out to others. Myself, I like to cook. That's kind of my thing. It's how I nurture myself and my village and my community is by feeding people, whether I'm a good cook or not. Um, that's kind of what that is. But this is, uh, you know, nurturing not just in aspects like that, but also family relationships, even romantic relationships, intimate relationships. And this is also a card of just motherhood in general and all the things that can flourish under being the empress. But overall, she actually brings us closer into the earth star, Mother Earth. So... Also, it's fertility and growth, you know, and that could be in terms of new ideas, growth and abundance, growth in creation of building something, creating something, 
all of that stuff. So even writing is growth, you know, writing a story, a novel, those are different aspects and ideas of abundance. But what she's calling us to do today is actually, she wants us to be inspired to nurture our creative projects and all of our financial stabilities and truly growth for the harvest. Um, that's kind of Virgo energy is the fall, it's the harvest. So this is like as money flows, just well, you know, creating a container where you manage it in a different perspective. But the ultimate message of this card is to appreciate what you already do have and keep nurturing that. So, you know, you want to see it grow. And honestly, I think this is truly the perfect card for today. Um, an affirmation to get you on your way to enjoy the blessing of today is like, I am abundant and I am at peace with myself. So we have the element of water and we also have the element of the Empress and even um, the Archangels that I spoke to today. So just a little insight about all of that. Inshallah and Ashe, thanks as always for joining me and blessings for you to get you through the day.